Coffee Emporium. I mean, how can you not go to a place that says really good coffee? You know how right? I know this coffee's good, Mike? Yeah. Do you notice what's across the street? Cincinnati Police That's Department. That's a police station. Substation. You know there's good coffee. It makes it easy for them, right? Tell us what this place is about, because I know you got two locations, right? You got downtown yeah. in here, so yeah. So this uh, this location in Hyde Park is going to be our original coffee emporium location. We started serving coffee out of this location in 1978. Wow. We were one of the oldest coffee shops in the state of Ohio. Continuously owned, continuously running. Um, the thing we take the most pride of is that our coffee is direct trade coffee. Rather than working with a middleman, we write a check directly to the farms. Uh, meaning we all of the money that we buy the coffee with goes right into the hand of the farms. At the roasting house, we roast coffee every single day. Ron Pace throws upwards of 100,000 pounds of coffee this year. Wow. Oh, every, every bean of coffee is sold in this building is roasted within about 14 days. Now, what is your most popular, or what do you recommend? Yeah, where is all this? Look at uh, yeah, so up over here, all of our beans, we've got um, eight different single origin offerings. Um, our Guatemala is one of our most popular ones, our Costa Rica. Uh, we've been carrot working with that farmer since 1973. Wow. In the world of coffee, um, it's a weird thing to have the coffee farmer to come and be a part of the shop. Uh, a number of the owners of our farms, we've been able to bring them over and That's awesome. have been inside the shop, specifically our Guatemala farm. What we serve on our espresso bar is going to be our Old Black Magic Blend. Old Black Magic Blend is over here on the top corner. Um, it's going to be our award-winning espresso blend. We've only been voted best in the city 10 years in a row. Um, wow. We're only on a few different national rankings of some of the best cup of coffee. Oh my god. What do you suggest? We take a lot of pride in our espresso bar. Well, let's, um, I mean, a cup of coffee is a cup of coffee. I can make you a phenomenal cup. Let's do the espresso bar. Let's. Can we do both? I can do both. You can do a cup of one and <laughs> you know what I mean? we got to be able to rate both. You're going to be like a hamster today in a wheel running around. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Nope. Rating. What you got to try this. So now this is the... Uh, Oh, you want to swap? Swap some spit. So it's supposed to linger and taste that on your tongue for a little while. Oh, right? I can taste it. Now you, yeah. really, you can taste the richness and the fullness. Yeah. And I'm a sweeter guy. I sweeten it up a little sure. bit. But it's right. a good. But he wants you to try it like this first. You can understand. Enough to yell at me. But they always yelling at me. Sugar and milk doesn't hurt it. See, doesn't hurt it. No, it is very good. Very the rich. The best way to drink coffee is the exact way you like it. See, there you go. that's the, that's the answer I like, I like right there. He's gonna love that. I know his taste buds. Sweet yeah, that is good. Yeah, it's that's sweet. sweet. Yeah, that's why I love it. Yeah, this is perfect. <laughs> Another good stop. I got to give you credit, Mike. You're the one that's the uh, the brains behind finding the places we go. Well, you asked for uh, my input. This is one of the most popular spots we, in the city. Well, we got some fan input of. of yeah, the now the fans. So. That, for you, the fans out there, I would suggest uh, when you find out what city we're going to, let us know where you think the uh, best coffee spot is, and we'll go check it out. But we're doing this every week. I'm having fun, man. I'm going to be fired up today. <laughs>